Hey butterflies, it's your girl Pam and today we're going to talk about if baby step one is a thousand dollars enough. So stay tuned. Alright butterflies, I'm going to give my disclaimer. Faith is in here. <laughs> She's one of the dogs. So if she goes to barking, I got the other three out. <laughs> but I'm just giving my disclaimer ahead of time. She may go to barking if she hears somebody outside. Please forgive her. Um, I'm going to see if I can let you see her. Hold on. Hey, pretty girl. Hey. You going to say hi to the people? You No? <laughs> you going to say hi to mommy? No? Okay. All right. Let's see who else is out here. So there's Janae running. <laughs> Tanky. Tanky. Okay, there's there's Miss Roxy, the red one. Tank. Tanny. Oh Lordy. And here comes Tobias. Oh. <laughs> okay. Tanky. He had a procedure done, y'all. He said hot. Oh. He may have Cushion's disease, so um, keep him in your prayers. Okay, butterflies, let's get started. You've met everybody, and um, so we'll we'll get started. I wanted to talk to you guys today about whether or not baby step one, if a thousand dollars is enough, and I'm thinking it may not be, not for me. Um, so I wanted to tell you the story. I, you know, saved a thousand dollars. I've told that, you know, in several of the videos as Dave had instructed us to. And um, I've heard other YouTubers talk about, you know, continuously saving. Maybe a thousand is not enough. And they gave different scenarios. Um, but I wanted to really, really try to go by the steps one by one and try to do them in order correctly as you know I mean obviously Dave has gotten something right because he's gotten so many people out of debt so I wanted to do that um but yeah I am having a whole lot of anxiety tank and that was the reason I kind of showed you the dogs um tank was the German Shepherd that was um kind of over to the side um, he's a German Shepherd Husky. We had to take him to the internal medicine doctor um, day before yesterday. And um, that was $516. Now, Kiana paid a little bit of it. Um, and I, don't get me wrong, I appreciate everything. But I think by the time I finished, I, my part was like $456. I mean, my kids, they, you know, she tried as much as she could and I appreciate it. You know, that's about half of my thousand dollars and I don't feel good about it. Honestly, I've got a lot of anxiety about it. And so now I have to stop baby step two, go back and replenish baby step one um, because there is nobody to fall back on if an emergency takes place. Nonetheless, I'm leaving for Jamaica a week from today, and I don't feel good with just having, you know, a thousand isn't that much. I'm sure everybody can agree with that, but it was a, at least a starting point. Um, and I, I don't want to seem ungrateful because I am so very grateful that I had the money and that I was able to help him, but this is going to be a long road. Tank was diagnosed with Cushing's disease and, um, he's, you know, he's going to have to be on medication the rest of his life. And so because of that, um, there's another test that has to be taken and it could cost a hundred, two hundred dollars. Hopefully it's around the paycheck and I'll be able to cash flow that. Um, I, and I'm thankful that I cash flowed you know, the 516 or the 456 or whatever I paid. But it was ironic because 
when I was making the appointment for him, we weren't at our regular vet. I was making the appointment. I asked because I couldn't go to the appointment. It was during the day and Kiana was taking him. Would she be able to take my debit card over the phone? Somehow the communication got off just a little bit and she was thinking that I was saying that I needed to, how could I pay for it? And so her first thing was to offer me credit. And I was like, no ma'am, I, I, I don't need credit. <laughs> I promise you, I don't need credit. Um, I just wanted to know if she could take my debit card over the phone so I could, you know, pay for my portion of it and um, be done with it. But I feel so defeated. I feel absolutely defeated because I don't have that cushion there. And I was so excited about trying to pay off Ashley Stewart. Y'all know I've talked about Ashley Stewart telling Ashley, bye, Felicia. And now I have to stop. Um, you know, no fault of my, my baby. I've had him since he was 10 weeks old. I would do anything for him. Um, but it could have been any emergency. And I'm not quite sure that that thousand is enough. I'm going to go gun ho and start saving again. Make sure that I get the thousand, but I'm going to continuously save out of each paycheck. I, I'm a single woman with kids and, you know, I got three kids, four dogs. I have to have some kind of security. I have to have that safety net. And I don't know if that thousand dollars is that threshold of feeling like you failed in some way or maybe it's just the benchmark of what you don't need to go below whatever it is if i would have continuously saved more um throughout this process then it probably would not have gone under a thousand dollars and I would not have had that anxiety. I think Dave has pushed, don't get me wrong, I love his concepts, I love his principles, I love everything about this program that's brought me to this point. I think though that it's been ingrained in the people that follow him that um, we're supposed to keep that thousand dollars in the bank that for that for emergencies and baby emergencies not even big emergencies but baby emergencies i think we've been conditioned so much that as soon as life hits because it will and even though he says you know at least you're in a position to cash flow it then you go back it it, it just seems like a failure somehow it seems like somehow you're starting over and during this process, especially with baby step two, because that's where people spend most of their time trying to pay off their debt, going backwards is not what you want to hear. And so I think, you know, I'm going to have to find a happy medium to continue to save and also to continue to pay off my debt. So back to baby step one, life is hit. It is what it is. So now that life has hit, I've got to go back to baby step one. I've got to um, get that back up to at least a thousand before I start paying on baby step two with the debt. Um, and then, but I will continue to save. I don't care how much it is, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. I don't care. I find something in the budget to be able to put aside each paycheck. So therefore I don't feel this naked i feel really naked with this right now y'all i i feel very um I, I feel disappointed i didn't use credit I, i'm trying to look at the bright side but i just feel like you know i've got to figure this out so you guys tell me what you think um do you need more than a thousand dollars for baby step one, do you continue to save as you're doing your debt snowball in baby step two? So I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Um, 
I I cannot believe we have over 275 um, subscribers. My butterflies, my heart. Um, I do appreciate each and every one of you all. I know that I say that a lot, but I honestly, it means everything to me. Um, I want you guys to um, do a Facebook search and do Pam Meets World Ditching the Debt. I'm going to talk about that in another video. Um, but I want you guys to, to, to come and join us. It is so refreshing to be able to um, have people that are like-minded. Um, we're just small enough to kind of get to know each other and, um, but it's, it's that support. So, um, I want you guys to do that. Um, if you have not subscribed, I, I would, you know, feel so blessed if you did, um, make sure that you hit the notification bell to let you know exactly when I upload a video and make sure you give the video a thumbs up. So until next time, butterflies love you.